Hi guys, this is uh, one of the last videos I'm going to be making um, on this particular topic. I wanted to show you guys this video um, that was posted a number of years ago, I think it was actually 10 years ago, um, where this guy deciphers um, the images on the $10 and $100 bills. Um, they show scenes that relate to a nuclear attack, tsunami, um, and basically devastation. Um, and I just want to play that for you now, so have a listen. Hey guys, this is a mega news flash. I, you guys, y'all have been watching, anyone that's been watching what I do, I decrypted the U.S. currency years ago. Uh, it, bills that no one else knew what was on those bills. That is an identical match to the side of the building of the Alfred, Alfred E. Moore building. I'm going to show you the old $10 bill, or the latest $10 bill, there it is. That's a tidal wave coming over a building with a radioactive sky. The sky is radioactive, there's a nuke in the background, this is a tidal wave. This is a building right here, and when I move my hand, you will see this building's reflection in the water. There it is. This is the water right here. Okay, that's the $10 bill. The $100 bill has come out, the new $100 bill. This is urgent, viral, get it out. It's coming, I guarantee it. The prophetic utterance the Lord gave me in 2007, it is, many of those things have already happened. This is the end of it. Get ready. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you. And out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. Water as high as the walls of Jerusalem shall cover the city by the sea. And great shall be the destruction of that city. Here is the new $100 bill. The tin has been turned upside down. Anyone that watches my ministry should know what that means. Here come contrails of missiles right here. Here's a contrail of a missile coming in, exploding. Coming in from this side right here, exploding. The reason I'm showing it to you on this is because once you put it in a higher resolution, it's difficult to see, but with the naked eye, here again is the contrail coming in, missile exploding. This is going to be New York City, and you're going to see the water coming through now after this. Here are the buildings. Here are the buildings right here. See the buildings right here? Okay, you see all this um, ink right here that makes the unidirectional lines? There's darker ink in certain spots. You'll see it. Okay, these unidirectional lines is movement towards the subject, which is us. As I, as I change the magnification, you're going to see all of this... All of this is going to turn to waves coming in from those nukes that went down, and they're going to be destroying the city. Watch. There it goes. There it is. See it? See how it changed? See how it gets all fluffy? Boom. There it is. Buildings being wiped out. There it is. See the water? That's water. I'm going to go back. Look. There it is. Now picture the water coming at you. Boom. Boom. Now picture the water coming at you. Boom, 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 boom. Devastation. Let me show you what's going to precipitate that, which is on the new $100 bill. It's coming to New York. I guarantee it. I prophesied it in 2007. It's on the 10. The Hoover Dam also event is going to happen. They've cleared out Lake Mead. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. It's printed on the money. Okay, let me show you what's going to cause this. Here's the other side of the $100 bill. I'm going to enlarge it. There you go. There, it, This is all water splashing up, 
This is a missile right here. Hi guys. Hi guys, this is uh, one of the last videos I'm going to be making um, on this particular topic. I wanted to show you guys this video um, that was posted a number of years ago, I think it was actually 10 years ago, um, where this guy deciphers um, the images on the $10 and $100 bills. Um, they show scenes that relate to a nuclear attack, tsunami, um, and basically devastation. Um, and I just want to play that for you now, so have a listen. Hey guys, this is a mega news flash. I, you guys, y'all have been watching, anyone that's been watching what I do, I decrypted the U.S. currency years ago. Uh, it, bills that no one else knew what was on those bills. That is an identical match to the side of the building of the Alfred, Alfred P. Moore building. I'm going to show you the old $10 bill, or the latest $10 bill, there it is. That's a tidal wave coming over a building with a radioactive sky. The sky is radioactive, there's a nuke in the background, this is a tidal wave. This is a building right here, and when I move my hand, you will see this building's reflection in the water. There it is. This is the water right here. Okay, that's the $10 bill. The $100 bill has come out, the new $100 bill. This is urgent, viral, get it out. It's coming, I guarantee it. The prophetic utterance the Lord gave me in 2007, it is, many of those things have already happened. This is the end of it, get ready. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, behold the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you. And out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. Water as high as the walls of Jerusalem shall cover the city by the sea. And great shall be the destruction of that city. Here is the new $100 bill. The tin has been turned upside down. Anyone that watches my ministry should know what that means. Here come contrails of missiles right here. Here's a contrail of a missile coming in, exploding. Coming in from this side right here, exploding. The reason I'm showing it to you on this is because once you put it in a higher resolution, it's difficult to see, but with the naked eye, here again is the contrail coming in, missile exploding. This is going to be New York City, and you're going to see the water coming through now after this. Here are the buildings. Here are the buildings right here. See the buildings right here? Okay, you see all this um, ink right here that makes the unidirectional lines? There's darker ink in certain spots. You'll see it. Okay, these unidirectional lines is movement towards the subject, which is us. As I, as I change the magnification, you're going to see all of this... All of this is going to turn to... So guys, what I just showed you was a video that was made 10 years ago um, in 2007 revealing images that were hidden on the $100, $50 and $10 bills showing the destruction of a city, most likely New York City, by a nuclear explosion followed by a tsunami. Um, when I first watched this video years ago, it stunned me. While I was compiling my usual, usual news reports for this video, I received an email, um, and in that email was this video. And when I watched it again, just before I made this video, it just brought tears to my eyes because I had completely forgotten about this. And obviously we've been talking about submarines and, you know, um, SLBMs being launched off of the East Coast and striking 
New York City and a tsunami that's going to be coming as well. And we've been shown a lot about tsunamis in movies and TV shows and stuff like that. Um, and when I saw this video again after so many, after so long, um, I I just got tears in my eyes because today is the twentieth and it's a uh, quarter past nine at the moment. And if what we're looking at is correct, then we're looking at a time period between the 20th and the 21st. That's not to suggest that something is going to happen today, but it's pointed to it. Um, today is um, the first kind of like day after Hanukkah finished. So um, Hanukkah ended today when the sun went down and it begins the third day of Tebe. Um, which runs from the 20th to the 21st. Um, and as pointed out by JK Bugger, we've got the lunar calendar, um, where it's the third day as well. And that begins in like the 20th and moves through to the 21st as well. So we've got like the 20th, the 21st kind of time frame coming from these two separate but linked uh, sources. Um, when I started looking at this whole 311 thing, I was thinking about the 3rd of November, and I made a couple of videos um, a couple of months ago saying that the 3rd of November could possibly bring something. I didn't think about it possibly meaning lunar calendar, um, which is the third day in the 11th month. Um, and then... The Simpsons video, um, which um, actually I'm just going to quickly find for you now. Excuse the comments. Um, it's the Simpsons video, 3 a.m. And I'll point it out that on the clock, after Donald Trump gets his phone call. Memorial. Make Chris Christie eat a worm just for laughs. Disband NATO. If I can catch it while it's running at full speed. I don't know, it seems to be moving at all. One second. We're too late. The Chinese fleet is advancing. Just build another wall. Yes, in the ocean, loser. Okay, so I don't think I need to pause it, although I'll try. It's just too quick. Okay, so you'll see there that the clock stops at 11.30 <coughs> and that could point to the date, which is obviously, if we're going by the lunar calendar, then the third day in the 11th month, or it could be telling us a time. And considering we're looking at a time frame from the evening of the 20th to the evening of the 21st, um, it's possible that something could happen um, at 11.30. I don't know what time zone that may refer to. Um, it seems a little bit in your face kind of thing, but then so was the 9-11 um, on the poster that, on the magazine that Lisa showed, um, and it, they were predicting a 9-11 event. And so I don't know, I'm gonna be watching at 11.30 today and tomorrow is gonna to be a tense, tense time considering what we just watched in that video I just showed you, the possible events that are to come. Um, but I would I would say watch around 11.30 tonight. Um, I'm thinking Eastern time, New York time. We'll keep a watch at 11.30. Um, that means I'll be up until at least 4.30 in the morning. Um, but I'm a watcher, so that's what I do. Um, in relation to Donald Trump, the the sevens, and I pointed out the sevens were uh, associated with Donald Trump, and um, he was born on June 14th, 1946. If you move 70 years ahead from that date, you get June 14th, 2016, another seven months brings you to January 14th, and another seven days brings you to January 21st, the first uh, full day for Donald Trump in office. Um, now... The stock market, as we expect it to crash, um, has just hit its 70th record, record close of 2017. 
So again, that kind of links into Donald Trump and this association with the sevens and the seventies. And we know that triple seven is associated with God and triple six is associated with the devil. So um, I don't really know what Donald Trump's role in all of this is, but I know that since he's been elected and since his inauguration, things have rapidly increased. For example, the 29th of November 2017 was Israel's 70th year after they were declared, um, after the UN declared Israel nation um, on the 29th of November in 1947. So we have a 70-year period followed by, on the, on the 6th of December 2017, Donald Trump announcing that um, Jerusalem is now Israel's capital. So we've got a 70-year period and then we've got a seven-day period coming after that. Um, and if anything is to happen on the 21st, 20th, then that would be two weeks after Donald Trump's announcement um, of Israel being, uh, sorry, Jerusalem being Israel's capital. Um, and if we count that from when um, basically Israel's anniversary or, you know, the, the declaration of Israel, 70 year period, then we've got from the 29th of November 2017 to the 21st of December 2017 is three weeks which is seven times three basically seven days three times um, which is seven 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 so as i was saying this association with donald trump and the sevens is strong so if anything is to occur it's likely it's a possibility shall i say that it may occur um tonight 20th 21st um i've already pointed out the lunar calendar and jewish calendar how they also associate with um, the 21st being the 3rd of Tibet or the 3rd lunar day. So we've got a lot of information coalescing into one. And I can only, I mean, in the video we just watched, he was talking about, um, he spoke about how the the people in the high and top places, they're like controlled by demons and stuff. And that just reminded me of the video I did a while back where, the images on the chalkboard or the blackboard were revealed. Um, ordinarily, on the normal scene, they just look like smudges. As you can see there, it's nothing really. You can't really see anything. You can see the foreground images, like the shark and the hangman, the backwards love, the uh, penis missile, the three dots, either being warheads or sperm droplets, whatever you, what have you. But once you start removing some of the layers, you start to see an image behind it, which is demons, basically. You've got a demon head here, pointed chin and grinning teeth and pointed eye, eyebrow coming back and what looks like a possible either a tentacle or a horn coming up the side of the head with the ear back here. And the exact same image, so if you thought that was, oh, that's, that's nothing, that's just a, you know, something accidentally there then you've got it duplicated over here exactly the same so it's definitely not a mistake it's not just smudges on a blackboard these are images that were um covertly laced into the video underneath layers and then you can see here what looks like the statue of liberty um some form of half mask with a long nose could be a pinocchio mask i haven't really um delved into that and what we see here is a man you can see the eyes here they're kind of in shadow you can see the nose here obviously the hair up here and the head uh, comes around i can see that he's wearing a suit and shirt but that may not be clear for some of you um and then here it looks like he's holding a gun behind what we are taking to be um donald trump's head um all i can think is the d on top of his head that would normally reference a dunce cap but at the same time we're being shown presidents here president bush and president obama um and this could be the D. It looks like a crescent moon because of the layers being removed. But the actual D here could stand for Donald Trump. And obviously outside of the classroom, when it moves out into the scene um, that we see, we've got the Psalm 23 on the wall, which um, has been revealed to contain the name uh, Donald in there as well. So it's highly likely that he's involved in this video. And when you associate it with the fact that he said, um, you know, he could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and get away with it. Um, it kind of, it kind of lends a little bit more credibility to the fact that this could possibly be 
a man behind Donald Trump holding a gun. And what I, what I think looks like a smoking gun, as you can see, the lines coming out here. Um, and then the gun triangle here is being covered by the shark, um, which is heavily layered. So I haven't been able to remove it to actually reveal the full image behind. But I think it's a smoking gun um, behind Donald Trump's head. I think that's what the D represents. So having having said all that, the Dow Jones hitting seventy hitting a seventieth record, the association of Donald Trump with the sevens, the fact that it's the third of today moving from the twentieth to the twenty first, and it's the third lunar day moving from the twentieth to the twenty first. I made videos about three eleven, which is could possibly associate with the third lunar day in the eleventh lunar month, um, and also in the Simpsons video, which I just showed you where the time stops on. 11.30 could be a, a time frame, um, it could be the actual time that we're seeing here. This this whole thing may kick off at um, 11.30 at night. That is all stuff that has been revealed to myself and to YouTuber like JK Bugout and to this guy who's made this video where, I mean, you have to give God thanks because at the end of the day, these things are so well hidden, that it can only take divine intervention for them to be revealed. I would not be able to, I'm from the UK, so I wouldn't have a dollar anyway, but even if I did have a hundred dollar bill, would I fold it? I don't think so. And would I fold it in the right way? Again, I don't think so. So these things, they don't just, uh, they, they're not just, they're not from us, basically. Then I don't feel like it's just us as people, human beings, just looking at these videos and interpreting them and folding money and seeing things on them it has to be divine intervention <coughs> the lord is revealing things to us <clears throat> many of us out there and we're trying our best to forward that information on and sometimes it it, it looks you know it looks uh, weak and kind of frail but when you put it together with everyone else you kind of get an image that there is something coming to new york it is going to involve a nuclear weapon. It is going to involve a tsunami. <clears throat> and what we can do about that is, um, well, prayer is number one. And then trying to warn people is the other. I mean, the whole idea is that the more people that know about this is the, uh, hopefully the less likely that it is going to happen. We don't know that, but it's, it's, it's really all we can kind of do. Um, I was sent this calendar by Richie Farr, one of my YouTube subscribers, um, and it has the dates. Basically, um, this calendar goes from the sighting of the, the new moon rather than the crescent moon, um, which puts it four days behind the Gregorian calendar. So, for example, the 21st, um, which is occurring tomorrow, um, is the 17th on this calendar, and the 25th, which is Christmas Day for us, is the 21st on this calendar. I don't know if this calendar has any relevance, but I definitely thought it was interesting um, and worth um, putting into this video. So that just brings me on to the next topic of when I look at this image um, with Osama Bin Laden and what looks like the crescent moon, um, it's possible that it is a crescent moon, which um, if I look at these moon phases, the 21st doesn't really have that crescent kind of shape not saying that the 21st isn't um a day that we're looking at because we are but if that image is suggesting that something's going to happen when there's a crescent moon um that's more 23rd 24th and 25th of december so that's why i have given basically throughout the last couple of videos i've made the date range is going from the 19th of december up until new year's day um, and that's that's where I kind of stop. Um, but at the same time, I was looking at the image in the iPad Go and I was thinking that could be a crescent moon or it could be something moving in front of the moon, um, which is when I looked up lunar eclipse and I found the next lunar eclipse, total lunar eclipse, is on the 31st of January. And what occurs during a lunar eclipse um, have inspired and awed and even feared people. The people have, you know, have been inspired um, or, or fear it because the total lunar eclipse often turns the moon blood red 
um, and that effect has terrified people, um, you know, back in the day when things weren't really understood and how those things happened. But it just relates to, kind of seems to relate to this, where either we have a crescent moon or something moving in front of the moon, and the moon is a blood red, um, and that is occurring on the 31st of January 2017. Now, the video appears to point to several dates, and as I've said before, I believe it's a timeline starting from one place and ending in another place, um, and that extends into 2018, um, where things get really bad and the new currency takes over, and I believe that's where the, you know, the one world, or the new world order comes in, um, and the one currency comes in, the Antichrist comes in, so we know that people are going to survive um, past 2017, um, not just because we haven't had the Antichrist and all those other things yet, um, and people need to be alive for that, um, but also in the Bible, we're told about um, the, the martyrs um, being clothed in white and their number being uncountable, um, and then God tells the angels to seal his people, um, and then we're told um, through more information that when the uh, the locusts are released from the pit, they have the power to sting but not to kill. Um, but those people with the seal, they won't be harmed. So we know that there's people still around during this time, which means that the rapture comes after. And that's even more backed up by the fact that in Matthew, Jesus tells the disciples what's going to happen. Um, and then after everything's happened is when two will be working in the field, one is taken, one is left. So we know that the tribulation is something that we're going to have to go through. Um, but for those who are following the, the Lord, the word of the Lord, um, they will be sealed and, and no harm will come to them um, in, in that sense. So I had other things, as you can see, other tabs here. There's a news report that I was going to go through, but Considering everything that I've just um, just mentioned, it seems likely, it seems, I won't say likely, it's a high possibility that something will occur between now and the end of the 21st, um, that being winter solstice as well, um, that usually represents the rebirth of, you know, those gods that they believe in, and um, that's associated with Helios, the sun god, and... Uh, that associates with the asteroid uh, Pathion three two double zero that passed by not long ago. So we've been given, we've been given signs, um, and a lot of people are being awakened and making videos and trying to get the information out there. And um, as I said, this is going to be one of my last videos. I don't know if I'm going to make another one that just comes down to God, basically. If he, if he moves me to make another video, then I will. But I think a lot of the information has been revealed. A lot of information has been covered. We've seen what could potentially come. So my suggestion is to pray tonight. If you want to fast, fast. Um, but definitely um, some prayers need to be said. And um, if we're looking at a time period of the third of Tive or the third lunar day, which are basically one and the same, then we're expecting something to happen um, during the night. All these images that we've been shown have been a nighttime scenario. Um, and I don't know if that's because the dust from this potential mushroom cloud that kicks up blocks out the sun, which is another thing that we've been told in the Bible, or whether it's actually nighttime where this occurs. Either way, prayer is good. You should pray every day, regardless of whether you think something's going to happen or not. Um, and that's a message to myself as well, because I, I don't pray every day. Um, I'm going to try and change that behavior. But last thing I want to say is just thank you. Thank you to all you guys who spend time watching these videos. Thank you for to the subscribers who have um, signed up. Thank you to the other YouTubers that have got involved and worked together to try and pinpoint what exactly not only this video is saying but 
you know, interpretations from the Bible, interpretations from movies, interpretations from music. Um, some people don't believe that um, things can be shown in movies and music and TV and stuff like that. And the only thing I have to say to you is the Lord is all powerful, all powerful. He can show signs absolutely anywhere at any time. And you only see them if you're open to them. So there is no harm in allowing yourself to see beyond what you see now. That's all I can say to you. Um, and with that, I'll end the video. Um, have a good morning. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night. Um, and, and let's pray that this scenario depicted for some time this month, possibly tonight, will not occur. God bless you guys.